Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon says the company uh, is working on a fresh round of job cuts that will happen in just a few weeks, citing the slowing economy's impact on the business landscape. The firm could cut up to 4,000 jobs or 8% of its workforce, or sell, a source tells me. And Brad, of course, this comes against the backdrop of really a downturn this year in investment banking and other parts of, uh, of uh, invest, the investment banking field. You have Morgan Stanley earlier out this month uh, saying it would cut 2% of its global workforce. That equated to 1,600 jobs. In the third quarter, you had deal volume, deal volume down 60, uh, 30 Thirty-six percent in terms of volume, sixty-four percent down in deal value. So of course, of course, these cuts are going to come. And now, who's on the clock? It's a J.P. Morgan. It's a Bank of America. Yeah, according to the reports uh, and Bloomberg noting this, the headcount reduction going to take place in the first half of January, and and variety of factors impacting the business landscape. Solomon adding, including tightening monetary conditions that are slowing down economic activity, and then additionally looking at where those positions could potentially be cut at. They've spent a lot to get into consumer banking. You wonder if at a time for a company that is going to be looking out into next year and the year after, we've, we've continued to hear about this kind of headcount hoarding in order to really brace for the wave of new deal making that may come forward in terms of 2023 and how that pipeline could open back up and what Goldman Sachs would need to really work through that deal demand. So does that mean on the consumer banking side, where you've already invested a ton of money, that you look at some strategic cuts or does that mean that you stay the road ahead at this point? So it'll be interesting to see where some of those cuts actually come forward next year, too. Right. And really, you get the sense that the stage is being sent for, set for a, a powerful rally in these bank stocks at some point next year. We're not making stock predictions here. We don't buy, recommend buying or selling stocks. But you have likely several more rate increases from the Fed, usually good for the profit margins of banks. You now have what looks to be deep cuts, deep cuts in the workforce of some very uh, high paid positions at these banks. And if we do not get a recession, you would theoretically should see a, a resumption of deal activity. I can't imagine you're going to see the same type of plunges, uh, plunges in deal volume that you saw this year. So those are all the factors that at some point could support some really nice bounce backs in these stocks. Yeah, this would be about 3,900 employees based on the headcount that they've got as of this year's third quarter of 49,000. And so that is a significant cut that we would be looking at across Goldman Sachs. And depending upon the divisions, we'll see if there is any more detail that makes its way into the public's eye. But the workforce certainly has grown even since pre-pandemic times. And now looking at a cut of this magnitude, uh, it just makes you wonder where we might see even more of the banks start to roll back, not just on their hiring or the hiring freezes, uh, but then additionally on just where they're prioritizing headcount allocation in this near term. too. And then the other question too, Brad, is where do these folks go? When there were layoffs on Wall Street, sure. perhaps these folks would go to a, a second tier uh, investment bank, let's say a Jeffries, great bank in its own right, but again, not, I would argue, on par with the Goldman Sachs. If you get laid off at Goldman Sachs or J.P. Morgan, where would you go? Also, tech. Well, tech is, tech, is, tech is canning everybody. And they've already made their, they've already made their cuts. So they're not hiring either. So Precisely. it'll be uh, really interesting to see this how, how this plays out. We'll continue to watch that very closely and keep a close eye on shares of all of those companies in the banking sector.